Ernst Alfred Cassere, German, NST Ka C, July 28, 1874 to April 13, 1945, was a German philosopher. Trained within the Neo-Kantian Marburg School, he initially followed his mentor Hermann Cohen in attempting to supply an idealistic philosophy of science. After Cohen's death, Cassere developed a theory of symbolism and used it to expand phenomenology of knowledge into a more general philosophy of culture. Cassere was one of the leading 20th-century advocates of philosophical idealism. His most famous work is The Philosophy of Symbolic Forms Biography <inaudible> 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 Born in Breslau in Silesia, modern-day southwest Poland, into a Jewish family, Cassere studied literature and philosophy at the University of Marburg, where he completed his doctoral work in 1899 with a dissertation on Descartes' analysis of mathematical and natural scientific knowledge entitled Descartes Kritik der Mathematischen und Naturwissenschaftlichen Erkenntnis. Descartes' Critique of Mathematical and Scientific Knowledge and at the University of Berlin where he completed his habilitation in 1906 with the dissertation Das Erkenntnisproblem in der Philosophie und Wissenschaft der Neueren Zeit, Erster Band, The Problem of Knowledge in Philosophy and Science in the Modern Age, Volume 1. Politically, Cassere supported the Liberal German Democratic Party DDP. After working for many years as a private dozent at the Friedrich Wilhelm University in Berlin, Cassere was elected in 1919 to the philosophy chair at the newly founded University of Hamburg, where he lectured until 1933, supervising amongst others the doctoral theses of Joachim Ritter and Leo Strauss. Because he was Jewish, he left Germany after the Nazis came to power in 1933. After leaving Germany he taught for a couple of years in Oxford, before becoming a professor at Gothenburg University. When Cassere considered Sweden too unsafe, he applied for a post at Harvard University, but was rejected because 30 years earlier he had rejected a job offer from them. In 1941 he became a visiting professor at Yale University, then moved to Columbia University in New York City, where he lectured from 1943 until his death in 1945. Cassere died of a heart attack in April 1945 in New York City. His grave is located in Westwood, New Jersey, on the Cedar Park Beth El Cemeteries in the graves of the Congregation Habenum. His son, Heinz Cassere, was also a Kantian scholar. Topic: <inaudible> Influences. <inaudible> 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 Donald Philip Varine, who published some of Cassere's papers kept at Yale University, gave this overview of his ideas. Cassere as a thinker became an embodiment of Kantian principles, but also of much more, of an overall movement of spirit stretching from the Renaissance to the Enlightenment, and on to Herder's conception of history, Goethe's poetry, Wilhelm von Humboldt's study of the Kavi language, Schelling's philosophy der mythologie, Hegel's phenomenology of spirit, and Vischer's conception of the aesthetic symbol, among many others. Cassere's own position is born through a mastery of the whole development of this world of the humanistic understanding, which included the rise of the scientific world view, a mastery evident both in his historical works and in his systematic philosophy. Topic. Work Topic. History of science Cassere's first major published writings were a history of modern thought from the Renaissance to Kant. In accordance with his Marburg Neo-Kantianism he concentrated upon epistemology. His reading of the scientific revolution, in books such as The Individual and the Cosmos in Renaissance Philosophy 1927, as a «platonic» application of mathematics to nature, influenced historians such as E. A. Burt, E. J. Dijkster who is, and Alexander Coiré. Topic. Philosophy of science In Substance and Function 1910, he writes about late 19th century developments in physics including relativity theory and the foundations of mathematics. In Einstein's Theory of Relativity 1921, he defended the claim that modern physics supports a neo-Kantian conception of knowledge. He also wrote a book about quantum mechanics called Determinism and Indeterminism in Modern Physics 1936. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Philosophy of Symbolic Forms. 
At Hamburg Cassere discovered the Library of the Cultural Sciences founded by Abai Warburg. Warburg was an art historian who was particularly interested in ritual and myth as sources of surviving forms of emotional expression. In Philosophy of Symbolic Forms 1923 Cassaret argues that man as he put it in his more popular 1944 book essay on man is a «symbolic animal». Whereas animals perceive their world by instincts and direct sensory perception, humans create a universe of symbolic meanings. Cassaret is particularly interested in natural language and myth. He argues that science and mathematics developed from natural language, and religion and art from myth. Topic. The Cassirer Heidegger debate In 1929, Cassirer took part in an historically significant encounter with Martin Heidegger in Davos. Cassirer argues that while Kant's critique of pure reason emphasizes human temporality and finitude, he also sought to situate human cognition within a broader conception of humanity. Cassirer challenges Heidegger's relativism by invoking the universal validity of truths discovered by the exact and moral sciences. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Philosophy of the Enlightenment. Cassirer believed that reason's self-realization leads to human liberation. Maslisch 2000, however, notes that Cassirer in his *The Philosophy of the Enlightenment* (1932) focuses exclusively on ideas, ignoring the political and social context in which they were produced. Topic: The logic of the cultural sciences. In *The Logic of the Cultural Sciences* (1942), Cassirer argues that objective and universal validity can be achieved not only in the sciences, but also in practical, cultural, moral, and aesthetic phenomena. Although intersubjective objective validity in the natural sciences derives from universal laws of nature, Cassirer asserts that an analogous type of intersubjective objective validity takes place in the cultural sciences. Topic: The Myth of the State. Cassirer's last work, The Myth of the State 1946, was published posthumously, at one level it is an attempt to understand the intellectual origins of Nazi Germany. Cassirer sees Nazi Germany as a society in which the dangerous power of myth is not checked or subdued by superior forces. The book discusses the opposition of logos and mythos in Greek thought, Plato's Republic, the medieval theory of the state, Machiavelli, Thomas Carlyle's writings on hero worship, the racial theories of Arthur de Gobineau, and Hegel. Cassirer claimed that in 20th century politics there was a return, with the passive acquiescence of Martin Heidegger, to the irrationality of myth, and in particular to a belief that there is such a thing as destiny. Of this passive acquiescence, Cassirer says that in departing from Husserl's belief in an objective, logical basis for philosophy, Heidegger attenuated the ability of philosophy to oppose the resurgence of myth in German politics of the 1930s. Topic partial bibliography The problem of knowledge, philosophy, science, and history Since Hegel Das Erkenntnis Problem in der Philosophie und Wissenschaft der Neueren Zeit 1906-1920, English translation 1950 online edition Substance and Function Substanzbegriff und Funktionsbegriff 1910 and Einstein's Theory of Relativity Einsteinschen Relativitätstheorie 1921, English translation 1923 online edition Kant's Life and Thought Kant's Leben und Lehr 1918 English translation 1981 Philosophy of Symbolic Forms Philosophie der Symbolischen Formen 1923 to 29 English translation 1953 to 1957 volume 1 Language Erster Thiel Die Sprache 1923 English translation 1955 volume 2 Mythical Thought Zweiter Thiel Das Mythische Denken 1925 English translation 1955 volume 3 The Phenomenology of Knowledge Knowledge, Dritter Thiel, Phenomenology der Erkenntnis, 1929, English translation, 1957, Language and Myth, Sprach und Mythos, 1925, English translation, 1946, by Suzanne K. Langer, The Individual and the Cosmos in Renaissance Philosophy, Individuum und Cosmos in der Philosophie der Renaissance, 1927, English translation, 1963, by Mario Domondi, Philosophy of the Enlightenment, Die Philosophie der Aufklärung, 1932, English 
Translation 1951 Determinism and Indeterminism in Modern Physics, Historical and Systematic Studies of the Problem of Causality Determinismus und Indeterminismus in der Modernen Physik 1936, English Translation 1956 The Logic of the Cultural Sciences Zur Logik der Kulturwissenschaften 1942, English Translation 2000 by Steve G. Lofts, previously translated in 1961 as The Logic of the Humanities an essay on man written and published in English 1944 books.google.com the myth of the state written and published in English posthumous 1946 books.google.com symbol myth and culture essays and lectures of Ernst Cassirer 1935 to 1945 ed by Donald Philip Verein March 11 1981 Ernst Cassirer Gesamelt work Hamburger Ausgabe Electronic edition, 2016 The electronic version of the definitive edition of Cassare's works, published in print by Felix Minor Verlag, and electronically in the Past Masters series. The Warburg Years 1919 Essays on Language, Art, Myth, and Technology. Translated and with an introduction by S. G. Lofts with A. Calcagno. New Haven and London, Yale University Press. Topic references Topic Further reading Barish, Jeffrey Andrew. The Symbolic Construction of Reality, The Legacy of Ernst Cassirer 2008 Excerpt and Text Search Folkvord Ingvid and Hol Aud Sissel eds, Ernst Cassirer on Form and Technology, Contemporary Readings, 2012, Basingstoke, Palgrave Macmillan ISBN 978-0-230-36547-6. Friedman, Michael. A Parting of the Ways, Carnap, Cassere, and Heidegger 2000 excerpt and text search Gordon, Peter Eli. Continental Divide, Heidegger, Cassere, Davos 2010, Craw, John Michael. Cassere, Symbolic Forms and History 1987, Lipton, David R. Ernst Cassere, The Dilemma of a Liberal Intellectual in Germany, 1914-1933 Lofts. Steve G. Ernst Cassere, A Repetition of Modernity 2000, SUNY Press, ISBN 978-0-791-44495-5, at Google Books Magersky, Christine. Reaching Beyond the Supra-Historical Sphere, From Cassere's Philosophy of Symbolic Forms to Bourdieu's Sociology of Symbolic Forms, Pierre Bourdieu and the Field of Cultural Production, ed. J. Browett. University of Delaware Press, 2004, 21-29. Schilp, Paul Arthur, ed. The Philosophy of Ernst Cassirer, 1949, archived.org Schultz, William. Cassirer and Langer on Myth, 2nd ed. 2000, excerpt and text search, Skidelsky, Edward. Ernst Cassirer, The Last Philosopher of Culture, Princeton University Press, 2008, 288 pp. ISBN 978-0-691-13134-4. Hardy, Anton G. Symbol Philosophy and the Opening into Consciousness and Creativity", 2014 External links Friedman, Michael. Ernst Cassirer. In Zalta, Edward N. Stanford Encyclopedia of Philosophy. Background of Ernst Cassirer History of the Cassirer family Ernst Cassirer Biographic Entry Center for Intercultural Studies Works by Ernst Cassirer at Project Gutenberg Works by or about Ernst Cassirer at Internet Archive Newspaper clippings about Ernst Cassirer in the 20th Century Press Archives of the German National Library of Economics ZBW.